Hello everybody and welcome to the Let's Talk Lotti podcast. My name is Sam Osborne, I am your host, and today I am talking with Tom from Lord Icon. I've been following Lord Icon for a few years now, uh, ever since I started out with Lotti Animations, so it was a real pleasure to be able to talk to him and hear his side of the story. Let's get into it. Hey Tom, how's it going? Hey Sam, it's, it's great to see you, great to meet you, and thank you very much for having me on your podcast. Thanks for coming on. So today I'm talking to Tom Willis, founder of Lord Icon, and he's from Poland. Could you talk to us about yourself, Tom? Yeah, yeah. so I'm an animator and founder of Lord Icon. I live in a beautiful city, Wrocław, Poland, and I work from here. Everything happens from, not from my bedroom, but from from my apartment where I live. And so <laughs> we don't have any big studio. We are not a huge company. Um, everyone who is working on the Lord Icon is actually a free, freelancer. And the Lord Icon is a side project. It becoming bigger and bigger. So I spent more more time and money on that. But my normal career is around freelance motion graphics. So a lot of explaining videos, uh, ads, uh, and and not particularly interactive stuff. So oh, okay, uh, yeah, maybe this. we can uh, go into detail in that later on. But um, mm-hmm. if the listeners aren't familiar, Lord Icon has how many icons are you up to now? Over fifteen hundred. It's 1,700, okay. uh, but the list is growing. Because at first I was designing and animating everything. Then I learned that I'm not so good at design part. So I uh, bring a wonderful designer. She's Agata, uh, and she's helping me with the de- designing icons. And there are also uh, Gabi and Dana, who is, who is helping me, uh, who's helping uh, with the design and animation. But uh, but what Agata did, well, it was designing the, the icon from 500 to two and uh, 2,500. So so there are like around 500 icons or, or 700 icons that need to be still animated. Oh. But uh, but yeah. So now when when we have this wonderful and robust library developed by uh, the best developer. Under under the sun, Martin Bashevsky. Adding of new icon is super super fast and simple. Before that, so before the launch of a 2.0 library, it was before I guess February 2021 or, or March. I don't know. I don't really remember. Uh, we the everything was was static, so um, everything was like custom HTML. Um, it wasn't set up on the WordPress or or any other web flow or anything like that, because dealing with so many icons is really problematic. And adding a new one was really a challenge, but now we find a way to streamline the, the adding part. And we, we really built up a process, process around creating new icons and delivering them in the best quality uh, so they are like compatible around uh, most of the devices and and uh, custom elements, including iOS and and Android. Uh, but we still uh, we still uh, face a lot of issues connected with uh, with these iOS and Android custom elements uh, because they, these are like um, I'm not really a tech guy, but but I know that a lot of properties that are not uh, being supported, including expressions. Yeah. So um, every next icon we create, whether it's wired outline, the one that you can see right now, or a new styles that are coming in the near future, every icon is simpler and has less ma- uh, masks and mm. is more lightweight. So just to, just to support more, more and more platforms, and yeah, this is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, a lot to unpack there. So, so you guys, and did how did Lord Icon start off? Did it start off with Lottie Animations, or was it static icons before? No, no, no. It started with Lottie Animations because I was like 
since the very beginning, I really enjoy the interactive uh, interactive animations on the web. But mm -hmm. at first, they were only um, possible via code, right? So, so uh, when I tried to learn it, it was around. It was about learning how to code, and and that was after me learning animation. So. Uh, and when I learn something or when I pick an area of expertise, I try to focus it 100%. So this is why at first, uh, the learning JavaScript and uh, and uh, the language that, that support the animation in the web was like, was not really something that I was interested in. Uh, but later when I discovered about the moving plugin via a scripts, when I was like talenting as crazy as plugins <laughs> for After Effects as everyone does, and then at the end of the day, you use only two of them. <laughs> and so I discovered this body moving plugin, so I decided to give it a try, and then learned that this is, it's possible to export animation to code. So, like, I give it a try. I, we started with fifty icons. I started with uh, because. I was the one who designed it and, and animated at first. Mm. So I started with the 50 icons back in the day. It, uh, it was funny because then uh, I, I created the site. It was from the beginning of the icon. Uh, added 50 icons to landing page. And it was, I don't know, 2019 or 18. And this was in, in May, I guess. Uh, so on this May break, because we have three free days in <laughs> at the beginning of the May because of the Polish constitution. So I was preparing to take a part in hitchhiking race with my friend. Uh, and this was uh, this is actually the biggest race in, in the world that is that is starting from Wrocław and has different destination every year. But that that one was to to Italy uh, at the very south to Calabria, and it was funny because we, I've animated it and then I've posted it. And I remember when when I was packing, I have posted uh, um, the this product, this mini project on my LinkedIn, <laughs> and and then we just uh, we just uh, went to the fa final party before the the trip because this is like sleeping in the tent and trying to catch the cars <laughs> <laughs> and this is kind of crazy but i remember being somewhere in germany or austria i, I when i checked the, the internet and i saw that this post actually went viral so um i had around 500 uh, followers on the linkedin so but eventually it, it reached around thirty thousand people 800 wow. likes so this was the kind of crazy numbers for me. So this is how it all like started. And then I learned that this is something worth exploring mm -hmm. and worth worth developing. But at first, this is this was all about, you know, um, gaining as many people as possible, not moving forward, just to check the project. And at the end of the day, when we had this, I know, 10,000 10, emails, only 200 of them actually sign up later. So open the email. So all of this time was only for the brand awareness. And I guess that this is very, very important for the beginning of the project. Uh, and so you posted these lottie animations, basically, on Lord Icon, went for a trip with your mate and then came back and it obviously went viral on LinkedIn and you had mm -hmm. a bunch of interest. Um, were the people able to um, download these animations or was it just for show? Uh, that was the, for show and for download. And it, this was a free product. <laughs> and this was, this was, we were like the kings of the, of the internet. We asked for an email. And then when, uh, whenever someone typed anything, they could type AAA uh, at uh, BBB dot, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and at the end of the day, they got this, this packet. So, uh, so this was our secret algorithm, how to, <laughs> how, to <laughs> um, uh, how to gather as, as many emails as possible. Yeah. So, so yeah, so this is this is how it started. But then uh, one year later, I have created this pack for for hundred dollars, 
and started monetizing projects from from the very beginning okay so then a year after all of that uh you released your packs and started yeah selling, selling the packs then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's awesome that's uh that's a really nice like origin story <laughs> yeah and and so what's your um i saw you've well as you said you now have a team uh mm -hmm. working with you what's what sort of team size do you do you have at the moment like the full time uh, i guess two Agatha and Martin, but they are not working like full time. They are not being hired by Lord Icon. They are just freelancers and we work on that project basis. Okay. Uh, but we plan to, to bring more and more people on the board. So, so if there's any, anyone interested, just drop me line. <laughs> and um, so uh, one of my questions was, were you sort of um, expecting to take up this sort of leadership role or were you interested in that at all or mm, you mean about leading the team and yeah. um, from the very beginning Sam I'm, I'm working as a producer and an and animator so um, like doing projects with a team is not something that I'm not familiar with but more okay. on the basis not on the um, employment basis that that uh, you have people that sit uh, in your studio and work from from 8 to 6 to, to, to 4 p.m uh, so i guess that for now it's more like um, focusing on building a process around building new icons and um, and creating new styles. So this is something that, that, that you can, you can build around the process. Okay. Okay. Nice. And, um, I was wondering, do you pull inspiration from somewhere for your icons or I don't know, how do you like prioritize, uh, which icons to do and, and stuff like that? Because you, you guys have a like wide variety of different sort of categories, uh, which is yeah. nice to see. Yeah, so uh, at first we we're focusing at the most popular icons. Um, one of the, like, couple of the biggest libraries currently in the internet has this kind, this kind of filter that you can filter which icons are trending and which not, or which icon, which icons are the, has the most downloads. So these are the icons that we, want, we created at first, just to meet uh, as many scenarios as possible. But then we just uh, we just went through the uh, icon projects that, that were successful and like building our own versions of, of, of such icons. And now when we have this 2500, there are people that are uh, that are requesting new icons. So so this is this is how we know which icons are are um, necessary and which not. Uh, okay. but, but with the Lotti, this is something very interesting, interesting because the, mm, for, for example, the trash icon in a static form can be only one. But with the Lotti, you can actually, under one trash icon, you can fit five different scenarios. So you can fit a tra empty trash, um, the process of loading a trash, the, the uh, like adding an object to a trash, so how the icon will look like when during this action, uh, when you decide to um, uh, to erase the trash, the files in the trash, so how the how the interaction, how the animation will happen, and maybe how how the trash will have will um, behave after hovering, when it's full, when it's empty. So we also like focus right now on maybe developing less icons and uh, bringing more animation scenarios to, to, these, to these symbols, whether creating a ton of icons that at the end of the day, like 80% of, of, uh, of downloads are only for 20% of icons. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. so is it, um, was it this, the interactivity aspects that drew you to Lottie in the beginning? 
do you think? Mm, yes, yes, the, the interactivity is, is fantastic when you can, like, I really like when there is not a lot of motion. The, the, the coolest part in all of this is not overloading your website with icons mm. and uh, keep them not on loop, but on a, on a hover. So people at first, they will consume this, uh, them as normal icons, but then after interaction, which is not done on purpose, just hovering uh, over the icon, the animation can play. It, it, it really amazes people. So uh, <laughs> I'm not a fan of looping, uh, looping animations, uh, but uh, they are really, really popular. Uh, and this is why, for example, we have introduced a delay uh, option for the player because we the entire library was developed uh, um, with the purpose of using those icons as on hover. But we saw that a lot of people want to use them on loop, and we are not the one to to teach to teach our users yeah. how to use them and to punish them if the, if they don't use them properly, but to fit to the needs of of the user base. So. So this is why we added this this delay, so this pause between each loop with the loop trigger, so people can actually take the most most out of these animations because they were not designed to play on loop as uh, loaders, for example. Yeah, it's nicer to be surprised or perhaps discover that an icon mm -hmm. is animated and you can interact with it rather than it just doing its own thing uh, mm -hmm. on the website. Oh, okay, that, that's that's interesting. And uh, we need to remember that user cannot be distracted when they consume a content. They want to consume a content. They don't want to be being distracted by an, the constantly animating icon. And I'm I'm not thinking about icons that really help with uh, with explaining, uh, for example, how to wash hands or the arrows that are pointing all the time to one to one area. But I'm more thinking about, I don't know, ballet dancer dancing or or uh, how spinning or uh, location pin bouncing or, or spinning as well. So this are uh, these kind of animations can should be really like only occasional. But this is only my point of view. <laughs> Let them, they will do what they want. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I sort of want to jump back a bit because I saw <clears throat> I saw you had experience working with the likes of Facebook and Manchester United um, and I was wondering if there was uh, if you could tell us about your experience working uh, working with them and what sort of work you got up to um, I'm currently on the project <laughs> with oh, okay. them as I mentioned at the beginning the Lord Taken is my side project I I spend like around 60% of the time uh, working with the clients and that also wow. includes that also includes Facebook and uh, so these these are mostly internal animations um, and yeah the work is great uh, working with the uh, client is fantastic and really teach you how much storytelling is in animation uh, that uh, each movement and each symbol can be perceived on thousands of different ways by thousands of different people all around the world. So we need to be really careful about developing an animated product or design product and shipping them worldwide. So yeah, that, that experience, um, or at least being aware of that must really come in handy with Lord Icon, I guess then. Yeah, like every experience uh, can be implemented in a lot of areas. For example, how the feedback loop runs are being developed. Because when you are building a project, your personal project, you don't really have a client, so you don't really have a feedback loop. And when you have mm -hmm. a feedback loop, uh, when you have thousands of users, there's no user that flagged an issue with an, a, an animation of an icon. The one icon was flagged by one of my clients that decided to use the Lord Icon elements and because they knew me, so they asked whether we can redesign or reanimate the share button because there's there's better way to show the share movement, right? And mm -hmm. I believe that 
there are a lot of people who are who have the problems with with um, or icons, but actually they don't have time or they don't know that they can raise the flag and send us an email explaining what they would like to change. But I'm I'm really looking forward for those emails. So if there are <laughs> If you, if you listener, you don't you, you would like some some icon to drop us a line and we'll we'll do our best to uh, to consider and this feedback and and change it. So talking about the future of Lottie, where do you think or what improvements do you think you can see with the technology and where do you think where do you see it going? The Lottie is very fresh. Uh, format. People are not familiar with it yet. Uh, for example, when when we see the downloads, stats, it only takes around 20% of the of the downloads. The leaving is a GIF. So people are really familiar with what's the most awkward. And we we try to teach them and show them why lot is better. Uh, but uh, we need to put in time so the, the environment, the design, the design industry uh, can build a product that supports Lottie as the JP, JPG or PNG happens. So you can see right now it in Webflow or, uh, or Elementor, I guess, in WordPress uh, allows people to add uh, Lottie files. So, so this is already happening. Mm. And and people will, I guess, that they will use it more and more often. And um, I see Lottie as this uh, extension of the of the motion um, industry. That more and more people will focus only on with the web animations, and um, it would lack like extra branch in the in the motion design, I guess, because of the body moving plugin, which is wonderful. And I'm super grateful for that because if it hasn't been developed, we won't have possibility to build SVGs or Lord Icon or any other product that is run the Lottie file. So this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Is there um, anything you can reveal or tease about what's happening uh, with Lord Icon? Mm, I have already reviewed it quite a lot, so uh, <laughs> I guess that new icons, new styles, something that will pop up in the near future, and uh, maybe more appearance as um, as a standalone library inside tools, like web tools, or uh, because we we see a lot of like, of course, at the at the beginning you think that your icons will land on the websites but at the end of the day they land in presentations and and explain okay. the video uh, so we try to build our product looking at our user base not at what we want if we see that um, our user base is heading into presentations and uh, we'll, we'll integrate it uh, for example i don't know with canva or or we'll build a plugin for the uh, google slides and if we see that they are going into more web or mobile environments. We'll build a more cast custom support into that uh, area. So, uh, so this is probably where we are heading. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything else other than Lord Icon and your freelance jobs that you're working on? Mm, at first, I was trying to catch as many project as possible, but now I'm, I'm saying no more often to clients and, uh, and focusing more on Lord Icon. But like, like, I love creating stuff for music industry, uh, for, for, the, for, for the big clients, for small ones as well. But to sum up, I guess the Lord Icon is currently number one on my, on my target list. and. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, feel free to tell the listeners where they can reach you. And if you want to share any of your socials or stuff like that, feel free mm -hmm. to do so. So whenever you type anywhere Lord Icon we sh or animated icons, we should appear on the somewhere on the top. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming on, Tom. And uh, thank you for your time. 
Thank you, Sam. It was a marvelous experience talking with you. Cheers.